Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijoteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these snowflake earrings. They're really easy to make, I will show you step by step, so I'm sure by the end of this video you will be able to make them by yourself. I'm using really simple stuff, only seed beads and you could use any type of ear wires you want if you're making earrings. And when I show you how to make this beautiful element, you will be able to use it in bracelets in necklaces, not only in earrings. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And it's a good idea to do this because sometimes I make matching jewelries to the ones that I ha have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for a present or for yourself. If you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for these snowflake earrings, I'm using three colors of 11 ohm seed beads and I'm using here ear wires, liver bags. I'm using fire line that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle. I'm using scissors and I use pliers only to go through the difficult beads if needed, but they are not obligatory. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to start. Okay guys, so now I have my thread on my needle and I'm going to start by picking up eight of these beautiful blue beads. Okay, and I have my eight here. And I'm going to slide them down stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going let's say three times through the loop I've made and then I pull and I could do one more knot to be really secure okay like that now this is what I have, I have a circle of beads, okay, then I will go through some beads in this direction. And now I'm going to take four white beads, okay, I have my four going back in circle, like that. Then I'm going through the following bead. And what I want to take are three more beads. So um, I still have four beads here around the blue one, but I'm going to use this one from my previous loop as fourth. So I have three and one more white. I'm still going through four. Okay. Then I will go through my next blue bead. And what I do is that I take three again and I'm still going through the fourth white from the previous element and through the blue okay then I'm going here take three go back like this and if you can go through the following blue to make that process faster okay three again go here and through the following like that three here like that Okay, like that. And go here. And here I'm going in my last blue bead. And what I do is that I go through this white one here 
from the first element that I added and then I will take only two beads this time because I'm, go I'm using this white bead from the last element as my fourth one, okay? Like that. And now I'm using this one, this one and adding two more. Okay, then I'm going through this white bead. Then through this white one. Like that. And I will take three silver beads like that. Go here. And through the next white, if you can, in one movement. Fix them like that. Then what I need to take are three more silver beads. Okay. Go through this white and through the following white. Three again. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now this is what I have and now what I want to do is go through this white here and exit out of my silver. Okay, then what I want to take are five blue beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I will go through this silver and through the white one. Now this is what I have. Then through the white and through the silver. Okay. And I'm going to take five more. Okay. Five. Go here through the silver and through the white. I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I have my five here going through the silver and through this white one. Okay, and continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last 5 beads from this row. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind this video and repeat the steps until the end of this row. They are absolutely the same. And now what I want to do is go here in my next element and in my next petal or element, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to go here at the end of my blue color, okay? And I will take one white bead and I will go through this blue one, just like that. Then I'm going through all of the blue beads here, like that. I'm taking only one white bead going here through this one okay then here okay one white go here through all of the blue ones in this direction one white
and again here through all of those beads one white okay Okay guys, and now I'm here where I want to show you how to connect your ear wire. By the way, I forgot to mention that off camera I cut my tail thread, okay? So now here I will attach my ear wire and in order to attach it, I will have, I will take a silver bead, go through my ear wire, take one more silver like that and I will go here to this one you see what I have silver ear wire silver making a loop and go around Okay, now my ear wire is attached and what I want to do is go under the back of my earring and make a knot, okay? I'm going here at the back. And I will choose a place somewhere to make a knot. Let's say here at the white bits, okay? And I'm making a loop, going once, going second time. You could even do three times and pull. And you could do more and more knots. Okay, and when I'm ready, I will go through the following bead and cut my thread. Never cut next to a knot. Always go through the following bead and then cut your thread. Okay, now this is what I have my earring is ready okay guys so now my christmas snowflake earrings are ready and if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and in this way you will be able to make beautiful sets when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done so if you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.